Memory loss isn't the issue in this case, even though it is what the outcome was. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> to have the last memory be of my wife's death, but I'll obviously leave my subconscious in shambles. <laughs> Who would anybody? Can you make any sense of these dreams? These visions that torment in such a way that, a way that seems almost symbolic of something, perhaps? Well, I, I can read here clearly what the journals are saying. I, I just don't know how to make any sense out of them. They read as memories with her. I don't even remember her name. What is it again? I'm not telling you. Okay. All I know is I see this hand, arm, and a shadow thing. I don't really know what it is. But I see it here in every entry. It's terrifying. I looked over them all night long. Sir, can you guess how anxiety or, or, or fear of some kind plays a role in, in projections of the subconscious? Well, I, I would of course agree that these things construct images in our subconscious. But what if they're flares of fate? Are you saying you think the visions are premonitions? Or symbolic for what might happen? It's here. Isn't it? You clearly wouldn't understand what I'm saying to you, otherwise you'd be in my shoes and I'd be in yours. Oh, but I do understand. Of course it is here. It's in this room this very moment. When I step outside, it'll be there. When I go to bed, I will encounter a roller coaster of images that most likely mean something more important than the thoughts I have of when I'm awake. Some may reflect a fear of something. Do you know what it is, though? Death. It's death. Last night I studied the journals. I have no memory of any such related experience, so... I did my best to... plug my head into the pages. You did. Tell me what you saw. How could you remember? Well, I, I wasn't dreaming, you see. I was, I was in more of a meditation stage. I memorized the written memories with her. I was standing in darkness. The only thing illuminated was the image of her. How can I think like you? Tell me what you saw and, and how I can see it. Tell me which way is up and which way is down. Paint me your brain so that I can understand. Okay. Shh, listen. There's nothing in this space I put myself in, right? Okay, it's just the glistening brightness of her projection, and then just blackness. No. No, there is something in the darkness. It, it grabs for me as we speak. No, it's not reaching for you. Shut up and listen. Shh. She smiles. 
she knows she's had a good husband. And you're right. The darkness collects like a black hole would, and the arm now reaches. I know. No, no, I know it. I see it now. It's here. It's not reaching for you. It is reaching, reaching for something more, the claws stretching around the image. Let's just do what we do every weekend and write me a prescription, please. The claws' fingers are spread around the image like an alligator's jaw waiting to clamp shut. Please, please, we're done. The claw squeezes shut. Can you guess what else is permanently gone? The claw. And why is that? Because... Because it wasn't after me. It was after her. In a sense, yes. You've just defeated your demons right now, Mr. Payton. The claw wasn't after you. It was after the one last memory you still needed to let go of. In fact, I'd even say the claw was your own hand. As if you took a good photograph, but crumpled it up because the memory was more beautiful than the reprojected image. But the claw... It wasn't just after Linda, I, I saw it here, in this very room, reaching for me. That's a sign telling me it's time to take you off of the medication. Hallucinations, reflecting your dreamlike projections. How can you be so certain these episodes won't start again? How do you know I'll be better off? Because you finally remember her name, Mr. Damon. <laughs>